G'day, I'm Nick, coming up on Newsbreak today. A big reveal from a popular Twitter account. Perth gears up for grand final weekend. And wild boars invade Rome. But before we get any further, you know what to do. Find that button down there that says subscribe and hit it. <laughs> Three Aussie high schoolers have amazed a lot of people by revealing that they're the creators of a popular Twitter account called COVIDBase. It has thousands of followers who have been relying on it for accurate information about the pandemic. Here's Nat with more. When it comes to finding accurate COVID information, your first port of call might be a health website. But what if you wanted to compare the data from other states all in one place? That's the gap this Twitter account, COVID Base, has managed to fill. It has tens of thousands of followers, including journalists and health professionals. And now its creators have finally shown us who they truly are. Hey, I'm Jack and I'm 15. I'm Darcy, I'm 15. My name is Wesley and I'm 14. That's right. They're just three mates in year nine. So how do they pull it off? I suppose actually just last year, I sort of tracked a lot of the data just from my own personal interest. And then around like February, we saw that we have a lot of skills with this data and we could sort of present and create something that is pretty unique. And pretty unique it is. But how hard was it? The hardest part is like trying to release the data as fast as possible. And of course, the face reveal. What inspired that? Ever since we sort of started this, we sort of thought we didn't want to just straight up tell everyone this is who we are. Always sort of thought that the best time would be when we get the vaccine. And what's the reaction been like? It's been mostly positive and very shocking, all the attention and all that. You know, I checked my phone, expecting to see, you know, some likes on it. But then I got home and saw about a thousand and I was very surprised. And luckily, I've just seen Greg Hunt. Like, I've watched all his press conferences this year and he's just said so congratulations. So. More than half of all Aussies over the age of 16 are now fully vaccinated. Way to go, Australia. A record 2 million shots were given out just last week. And it's bringing us closer to the 70 and 80% vaccination targets that the government is aiming for before restrictions ease up. And while under 16s aren't included in the targets, you guys have been getting vaccinated in droves. 12 to 15 year olds have only been eligible for about a fortnight, but 23% of you have already had a dose. Buckle up guys, because we're getting ready for a massive weekend in sport. It is of course, AFL Grand Final Weekend. And for the first time ever, the big dance will be held in WA. Yep, it's an all Melbourne Grand Final, except it's not in Melbourne. The Demons will go head to head with the Western Bulldogs on Saturday and Perth is well and truly getting into the grand final spirit. And, well, so is the rest of the country. Bulldogs Alex Keith and Cody Waitman will be returning after injuries to replace Ryan Gardner and Latham Vandermeer. While the Demons will bring an unchanged lineup as they chase their first premiership since 1964. There's more finals fever in the NRL with the Rabbitohs fighting the Sea Eagles tonight for a place in the grand final. Meanwhile, the Penrith Panthers will take on reigning champions the Melbourne Storm in the second prelim final on Saturday. Meet the new captain of the Aussie Diamonds. Liz Watson is widely considered the best wing attack in the game and she led the team for the final three tests of their recent tour of New Zealand. Now she'll be taking over the job full time. Now it's time to head into the wilderness for some epic encounters between human and beast in a segment I like to call Where the Wild Things Are. How, I mean, how's this for a close encounter with some geese in full flight? Natalie's a local from France and she has a degenerative eye condition. Before she loses her sight, there was something she wanted to experience, flying in formation with a flock of geese and she says she had an absolutely magical time. Now, in this case, where the wild things are is in the middle of Rome. The Italian capital has a bit of a wild boar problem right now. Boars are no joke, and residents are being warned to stay clear of the big pigs. And here we see a wild honey badger rescuing a sheep. And by honey badger, of course, we mean rugby icon Nick Cummins. He spotted a sheep stuck in wire on a drive and helped set it free, with the sheep giving a thank you bar on its way out. 
In the words of the big man himself... Yeah, good. How good indeed. That was a rubbish impression. Fair enough. That's it for the show today, guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next week.